Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for the last day in June. It is June 30th, and I'm going to be, hey, lady, I'm going to be here just, I don't even know why I start out saying that, because then I end up talking so long, but I really am on a timeline today. <laughs> So, I, I mentioned yesterday that I, I finished a book, and even though I'm not doing them weekly like I did all of 2019, I wanted to share a book with you that if you are red, black, white, purple, green, or polka dot, you probably need to go read. It is Robin D'Angelo's White Fragility. White Fragility, and the subline is... Uh, why it's so hard for white people to talk about racism. D'Angelo is D-I-A-N-G-E-L-O. Robin, Robin D'Angelo's White Fragility. <clears throat> and this book was written, she wrote this back in 2018. But I told you, first of all, if you're tired of hearing me talk about this, then no offense will be taken. You, you're free to flip off the switch. Because it's, it's, I lived in a world for 20 plus years where it was not part of the landscape to talk about, in open format anyway, to talk about issues of race and racism and what was happening in the larger, wider community. Hey, uh, Elliot. So now that I am no longer under those constraints and this is happening in our real world, and and it's we're breathing it we're eating it it's actually you know it seeps into the very bones and marrow and cellular makeup of of who we are as americans it's, it's it just is i will very rarely um I, I will find a way to include it in my perspectives because the perspectives are always about becoming the best version of yourself. Okay, leadership, it's always gonna be along the line. So anyway, the quick version is, I made a couple of notes so I wouldn't be up here all day. I, I, I must give you a caveat warning. Again, the title is White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. If, if you are a white person living in America and you have never really had these real conversations, I'm telling you right now, either go get, <laughs> Robin DeAngelo was no joke. She is no joke. She pulls no punches. She does not try to spare any emotional impact. She is not trying to um, uphold a system that allows racism and white supremacy to perpetuate she's not trying to do any of that so she is she is going for the jugular and so you may have to take her in small bite-sized pieces you might have to take you might have to take her in real small chunks if you are fragile along the lines of um, a mirror being held up so i'm gonna stick with my notes so i don't look i'm already going long but i i this is a book that I will have to read again. I'll put it like that. I will absolutely have to read again because it was sort of like getting an insider's view of a very close insider's view of a white person who has recognized that there are tenets in this society that she had been complicit in that lent itself towards suppressing others. Okay, so she she is very, very transparent in that she does not always have the right answers, um, even when conducting diversity training. She doesn't have it all right. She doesn't get it right all the time, but she is seeking to continue learning and growing. She said, you cannot interrupt. You cannot interrupt what you will not address. And you absolutely can't 
cannot stop participating in racism. If you're not aware, then you will not see things. If you will not see things, then you cannot, you won't be inclined to help remove the barriers. It's not gonna happen. It is just not going to happen. I'm telling you, she was, she was, <laughs> she hits every aspect of it. And I am just so strongly encouraging, even if it takes you a long time to read it because you got to keep closing it because it's just too much. It's, it's just too much all at once. I'm still going to encourage you to read that. Um, what was that? She said, um, oh, I'm not inclined to remove the barriers that provide an advantage to me especially if I feel entitled to do them or feel entitled to the advantages that I've been given. So she, she makes this point that interrupting racism takes courage and it takes intentionality because it's so ingrained in part of the fabric that if you reap the benefits of, of a white supremacist society you're not inclined to give up those advantages and even my saying white supremacist she's going to break that down for you because sometimes we do this binary thing you're either good or bad you're either um wearing a, a white hood in the deep south or you're angelic and, and so she just she breaks that she breaks that mis conception misperception down and she takes it all the way back to how it began how how from babies at the time and she's a scholar at the top from the time of like three months they begin to see um differences and it's not so much that parents are teaching per se they're not teaching anything, but it's just ingrained in the society. Some of the things that you don't say, some of the things that you don't speak to. I'm telling you, White Fragility, I'm gonna keep saying it until I get off here, White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo, D-I-A-N-G-E-L-O. Um, so this is this is what it was like. It was like she pulled up the blinds. You know, if you're in the house and, and it's all dark, but it's, you know, 12 noon on in the middle of the summer, so it's mighty bright outside. She pulls up the blinds on white supremacy and asks white people to look at how they've been complicit in building this structure brick by brick. So she, she's asking you to, to look and see your role, even unconsciously, in building the society that we live in and, and that has too often given um, unearned advantages to people simply because of the color of their skin. But not only to become aware of it, but go the extra step and get intentional about dismantling it. Dismantle it. And so I'm just telling you, I don't know if, especially for the time that we're living in, I don't know if I've... Um, if I would recommend in another book more strongly, and I'm reading another one I, I made mention of, we're doing it, I'm doing it with a, um, um, a white friend, and, and we're reading it together, and we'll begin discussing those chapters. That one is How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi, but Robin DiAngelo's White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism is the subtitle. Hey, Patricia, and thank you for all who are jumping on. I'm, I'm telling you, if, if you bristled up, this just, okay, look in the mirror. If you bristled up when I said that we live in a society, in, a, in, a, in an environment that lauds white supremacy, and you must be intentional about recognizing it, calling it what it is, and then beginning to dismantle. If you bristled when I said white supremacy, I'm telling you, you probably really, really, really need to go get the book. I had, I had to stop several times and check Holly. Really. Because things she made me think about, and this is what good books do, she made me think about things that were so ingrained and I didn't even question them. I didn't, 
You know, I, I missed some things. It's like the air. You don't stop to break down the chemical components of air. You just need it. And so you, you, it's part of what we do to survive. Some things I had not questioned just because they have been the way they have been for so long. Um, but she, I, yeah, I had to slow down several times. And it will be, undoubtedly, I will have to go through the book again from the beginning to end. Very, very well, very well done. Um, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson does the introduction to the book. Okay, that's what I got for you. I, I'm telling you, I got a lot of feedback all throughout 2019 about, oh, that was a good book. I went and got it. Or, and, and as a matter of fact, it's even on audio. She doesn't do the reading, a voice actor does, but very, very well done. So I'm telling you, if we, if we want to become more knowledgeable about dismantling a system that has for too long oppressed others, undeservedly while it elevated others undeservedly, then this will help you get on your way. This will, cause we gotta come to, we have to attack what we know with some knowledge, with not just all emotions. E emotions will get you eaten up and spit out. So just a consideration, it's my perspective. Thank you for joining me. I really, Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I promise you. As a matter of fact, Serena, here's a money back guarantee. If you don't learn and grow and be challenged and be stretched, even as a black woman after reading that book, I will personally refund the money that you spend to buy it. I'm telling you. Okay, I gave that to Serena. That ain't for everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you, let me know what you're thinking about it. Just, it was delicious. Okay, that's what I got. Thank you for jumping on here and joining me. I already know I got some stuff going on at noon tomorrow, so I'll probably do another evening. Okay. So much love, tremendous respect. And if you are a white sister or brother and you actually read the book, please hit me up. I'd love to get your feedback and, and your thoughts on her perspective. Okay. Take real, real good care of yourselves. We start a new month, second half of the year tomorrow. Got to do some things differently. Okay. <laughs>